All right, what's good guys? Welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I actually did already film this video, but I had some audio issues, so I'm gonna be refilming it today. Firstly, I just wanna start off this video by wishing you all a happy new year. I hope that you guys all had a wonderful holiday season, and I just hope that this year is super prosperous for you all, so. So in today's video, I'm gonna be trying something a little bit different. Today, I'm actually gonna be making a collection video for you guys. This has actually been requested a few times now, and I'm gonna be making it today. So as you guys can see on the rack, I've got some pieces there, and they're all from one brand. If you guys can't tell what the brand is, just by looking at the rack. It's Saint Laurent Paris. Now, Saint Laurent is definitely one of my favorite brands. You guys will notice that all of these pieces are from the Hedy Slimane era of Saint Laurent. I just want to get it out of the way that for me personally, from trying on pieces from the new seasons, I just don't really feel like they fit my body as well. There are some pieces that I definitely do like, but generally, I really preferred Saint Laurent when it was under Hedy Slimane. I just feel like the fits were a little bit better for my body type, a little bit slimmer. All these pieces are going to be from the Hedy Slimane era, and I'm super excited to show them for you guys today. And make sure you guys hit a like on the video so I know that you guys are feeling this style of video and maybe in the future I'll make this a little bit of a series if it does well. So yeah, let's just get straight into this collection video and I'll show you guys the pieces that I have on this rack right now. I just want to clarify too before I show you guys all of these pieces that I'm not saying that this is like the best Saint Laurent collection ever or I'm a Saint Laurent expert. It's just a brand that I genuinely enjoy collecting and a brand that I can really appreciate the quality from. So this is just meant to be an enjoyable video for you guys to watch. So please don't take my knowledge about Saint Laurent too seriously. I'll try to tell you guys things that I do know about the brand, but I'm still learning as well. So, so in this video, I'm going to be going from bottom to top. So I'm going to start off with shoes from my collection. And the first pair up are these Saint Laurent SL37 low tops right here. If you guys have watched my recent pickups video, you would have seen these, but this is just like the classic studded low model. As you can see, it's a little bit worn in and it's got the studs right there on the tongue, which is why it's called a studded model. I just feel that these are perfect summer sneakers. They're a little bit similar to a common project, which is why I picked these up because I'm a really big fan of the common projects, but I just wanted something a little bit different. I'm a really big fan of these. They do fit true to size. I'm generally a 43 in Saint Laurent sneakers and I went with a 43 in these and they fit absolutely amazing. So I just really enjoy the worn in look. You don't have to worry about keeping them super clean. You can beat them up how you'd like. And I haven't worn these yet because I just got them recently, but I'm really excited to beat these up in the summer and just have them as an everyday sneaker. Next up for the sneakers, we've got these high top Saint Laurent SL 37s right here. I believe this is also a 37 model. Don't quote me on that. I'm not hundred percent sure. I believe that these shoes are actually from the Surf Sound collection. I think Surf Sound was 2015, maybe 16. We've got these checkered high top sneakers from Saint Laurent. They've got a really nice checkered pattern all over the sneaker and they've got these really standout gold laces right there. These ones also do fit true to size so I did a 43 in these as well and these are actually a lot more comfortable than the low tops believe it or not. The low tops I found in the past are a little bit uncomfortable right out of the box and you have to break them in a lot but with these I just feel like I can wear them straight out of the box. I just think that these are really nice beaters for the summer as well. You can just wear like an all black outfit and let these do the talking and I think that it's a super clean look. I've had these for about a year or two now and I've definitely beat them up every time summer comes around so I'm a really big fan of these and I can't wait to wear these in the future as well. So those are the only two sneakers I do have from Saint Laurent at the moment so we'll just get into the accessory that I have right now and yes accessory so only one. So right here we've got a piece that you guys would have also seen in my recent pickups video and that's this Saint Laurent three pass and belt right here. Hopefully you guys can see it. I did manage to pick this up in a Saint Laurent Facebook group. I got this for an absolute steal of a price. I've been looking for one of these belts. My two favorite belts from Saint Laurent are the Saint Laurent West Western belt and the Saint Laurent three pass and belt and so I managed to find this one for a super good price so I had to pick it up. It's the classic leather version and if you guys are interested in sizing purposes this is a size 90 and I'm a 31 to 32 waist so hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of insight but that's just what I did. I really like how versatile this belt is. It's just a belt that you can wear every day with any outfit and the way that I like to style this is I like to kind of wear like a button up shirt and kind of have it half tucked and then have this sticking out over top of it so I think that that's just a really clean summer look and it's definitely something that I'm gonna be doing a lot this upcoming summer. So moving right along, we'll get into the one pair of denim that I have for my collection. And that's this white pair from Saint Laurent, obviously. This denim is a little bit special to me because I did pick these up at the Saint Laurent Boutique in Paris on Avenue Montaigne. As you can see, the tags are right there. I'm really happy to have this denim in my collection. It's just a really nice skinny fit. As you guys can see right there, it's definitely the model of jean from Saint Laurent that I gravitate towards. And obviously with any pair of denim, the more you wear it, the more comfortable it gets. So, so I've worn these jeans several times now and they're very, very comfortable. Just think that a pair of jeans like this is so nice to wear if you go out to like a nice summer dinner and you wanna put like a button up shirt over 
top of it. And then those white SL37 lows on, for example, I just think that's a really nice clean summer fit. So these are a size 31. I'm generally a 31, so I go with these. I'm really happy to have these in my collection and I can't wait to wear them more in the future. So moving forward now, the rest of the pieces in this collection video are actually all going to be shirts. So I do have a decent collection of St. Laurent shirts that I've acquired on like Grailed or eBay or the Real Real over the years. So I will give you guys information on each shirt and where I got them from and all that. So the first one that I have right here is this really, really nice black and white Hawaiian shirt right here. This shirt is from 2015 and it's made of 100% cotton. The material on this shirt is actually very, very thin. So when you wear it, you can almost see like your chest through the shirt. It's a very, very breathable material. So if you're like on vacation or a nice hot summer day and you wear this, you won't get too hot wearing this shirt. And it's just a really clean, simple look that you can wear with like a nice pair of black denim and some white sneakers. I've actually seen G-Eazy before wear this model. That's how I found out that this shirt was even in existence. You don't really see these shirts come up for sale too often. They're a bit of a rarer model. I did a size 39 in this. You guys will actually see that all of these shirts are size 39. I will mention one or two sizing differences between the shirts, but as I said, this one's a 39, 100% cotton, but very, very thin cotton. And the way that it flows is just super nice to me and I just love having it in my collection. Next up, we've got another 100% cotton shirt and that's this St. Laurent checkered shirt right here. I'm not exactly sure of the actual name of the shirt, but I just call it the checkered shirt because obviously it's got the checkers all over it. It's very similar to the pair of sneakers that I showed you guys before actually, but I wouldn't wear the two together just because I think that's a little bit OD. I've also seen G-Eazy wear this one before. This one's from 2015 as well, and this one is actually brand new with tags, so that's something that you don't see all the time. It's really hard to find these old shirts brand new with tags, so I haven't got to wear this one yet. I've had it for about a year, but I was away during the summer, so I didn't really get a chance to wear it. I just feel like it's another really nice shirt to be able to wear on like a summer day or a summer evening. The material on this shirt is a little bit thicker, so it's not going to be as breathable as the previous shirt that I showed you guys, but definitely still a nice staple that I'll have in my summer wardrobe and something that I'm really excited to wear. All right, and so the next shirt up is definitely one of the more standout Hawaiian shirts that I have in my collection, and that's this St. Laurent Red Hibiscus Hawaiian shirt right here. This one, as I mentioned, is also a 39, fits true to size. This one is actually also brand new with tags, so definitely something that's hard to come by. It's got this really nice hibiscus pattern all over it. I definitely think that Saint Laurent does a really good job at kind of balancing that fine line between having Hawaiian shirts that look super daddish and ones that look very sleek and very modern. This shirt is actually 52% viscose and 48% cotton, so that's a very specific percentage of materials, but definitely flows really nice, and it's a very, very comfortable shirt on body, and I'm really happy to have this. I think that this is kind of like a standout piece that you can wear in the summer. You can just kind of wear some more classic denim and some classic sneakers and kind of let this shirt do the talking. So very, very nice statement shirt from Saint Laurent right here. So next up, we've probably got my favorite Saint Laurent piece in my whole collection. And that's this Saint Laurent palm tree Hawaiian shirt right here. As you can see, it's got this beautiful blue color. I don't know if the light is washing out the color, but in person, it just looks super nice. This shirt also fits true to size and it is 100% cotton. So this shirt is actually probably made of the most thick material out of all the shirts in my collection. It's not as breathable as some of the other shirts, but I still really, really enjoy it. It's definitely something that you might have to be a little bit more wary of when you wear it in hot temperatures, but still a great shirt for vacations or summer days. And honestly, not too much more to say. Fits true to size, 100% cotton, beautiful blue material, and definitely my favorite piece in my collection just because of how beautiful the color is. All right, and so moving on, we're gonna get into the long sleeve shirts in my collection. And the first one being up is this black hibiscus Hawaiian shirt right here. As you can see, it's got the long sleeves right there. This one is also made of 52% viscose and 48% cotton. So it's the same as that red Hawaiian shirt in my collection, just a long sleeve black version. This one is also a 39, fits true to size, nothing different. The long sleeve versions don't really come up for sale too often, so they're a little bit harder to come by. Definitely happy that I found this one on Grailed. I got it for a really good price, so it's something that I'm really happy to have in my collection and one that won't be leaving my collection anytime soon. Because of the materials, again, it's very flowy and definitely one that you can wear in hot temperatures. The black looks super sleek with the kind of cream hibiscus pattern on it. Yeah, just super excited to wear it again in the summer. Okay, and so next up is actually probably the rarest shirt that I have in my collection. You don't really see these come up for sale too often, especially in a size 39, and that's this Saint Laurent Pina Scalata shirt right here. It's kind of a funny name, but the reason that it is called that is because of the patterns right here. As you can see, it's got like the skulls. So this shirt is from 2014. I forgot to mention actually, I think that the previous shirt was from 2016 as well. Um, but this shirt is from 2014. And because it's from an older season, it does fit slightly slim. So this is a 39, but it does fit a little bit slimmer. So I maybe could have done a 40 in this one. But regardless, I love the fit on it. It's made of 100% silk, super, super soft material. And it's definitely one that feels amazing on body. Just feeling the material, you can really feel how 
luxurious it is and how good the quality is. I'm a really big fan of this one and this is always one that I take on vacation whenever I go. It's just such a unique pattern and you don't really see patterns like this too often. So there's actually a picture online of Harry Styles doing a performance in this shirt. So that's definitely something that gives this shirt a bit of notoriety, but really rare shirt and definitely one that I'm excited to have in my collection. Okay, and so the last shirt in my collection and also the last piece in my Saint Laurent collection is this Saint Laurent shirt right here. I don't really know the exact name of this shirt either, but because of the pattern, I call it the lip shirt. As you can see, it's kind of got lips all over the shirt. This shirt is also made of 100% silk and it's super, super soft. I can't stress that enough. How it feels on your body is so, so nice. This is a really nice classic shirt that you can wear to nice events or you can put a light bomber jacket over top of it and it looks super clean if you just have this kind of poking out. This is another really rare shirt. You don't really see these come up for sale very often. This is a size 39 and this shirt's from 2015. So it's a little bit of a later model than the other shirt I just showed you guys. So it does fit true to size. I've really only seen a couple of these throughout my years on Grail that come up for sale. So it's not an easy shirt to find. So definitely one that I'm excited to have. I did pick this up on the real real though. So I didn't even get it from Grail, but I'm really happy with the price I paid for it and definitely happy to have this in my collection. I just think that it's a super nice staple shirt and something that you can wear either by itself or with a jacket over top, as I said. And I really love the pattern on it. Patterns like that are just typical Saint Laurent. Very, very classic of the brand. And I'm really excited to wear this a lot more come summertime. So that's gonna do it for my Saint Laurent collection video today. Let me know what you guys thought of the pieces in the comments down below. And let me know if you guys have any favorite pieces from Saint Laurent as well. As I said, maybe if this video does well, I'll kind of keep the collection videos coming and make it a bit of a series on my channel. I definitely enjoyed making this one for you guys. I also just wanted to say thank you guys so much for the continued support on this channel. I know that I say it a lot, but I'm really excited to be back home now in Vancouver and to be able to put more content out for you guys like I have been doing. I've been trying to be a lot more consistent, so hopefully you guys have noticed that. I'm also going to be doing a lot more vlogs in Vancouver just because I feel like there aren't many people that are really covering the Vancouver fashion scene and especially the men's fashion scene, so I'm going to be trying to put out more vlogs, make it a little bit more educational so you guys can get a sense of what the shopping experience and what the fashion scene in general is like in Vancouver. I think that a lot of people would be interested in that. I'm just going to be trying to bring you guys a lot of different content and I just hope that you guys stick around with me. So thank you guys so much again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.